So you might recall that back in November, I said this. It's just such a ridiculous story to make a movie out of. They, they've obviously padded the hell out of it. I don't know what to think of this. Well, that film certainly was padded to hell, but uh, whether I liked it or not, you're just going to have to wait until after the Dark Matter 2525 intro. So, did I like it? It's probably the second hardest I've laughed at a film all year. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's intentional, but it certainly doesn't fit the advertising. Uh, uh, I don't think a lot of other people are going to find it funny. I found it hilarious. Granted, there are parts of it that kind of bored me. Like, okay, you can get to the point, get to the point. But it, it's so over the top. But every character is playing this completely straight, and that just comes off as fucking hysterical to me. Oh. <laughs> um. So, whether you like it or not, that is going to depend on. Actually, your taste in humor. Uh, if you actually go into it expecting a, seri a serious fantasy, because let's face it, this is a fantasy film. This is not a biblical story like the Ten Commandments. This is fantasy. Everything they've added to this <coughs> is fantasy. I'll get into what they added later on in spoilers. I'm trying to keep this spoiler free for now just to give my initial thoughts is it worth seeing? Do you like dark comedy? Do you like stuff that's pl that's like played up here, but everybody's taking it completely seriously? Then yes, you'll find it hysterical. If you go into it expecting a serious take on a fantasy story, probably going to disappoint you. There are parts of it that get serious and parts of it that I think are just like, hey, creationist. That's to you. Which I personally appreciate. I'm not sure if everybody else did. And there's some environmental stuff in there that's like, uh, 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 did we really need this? But overall, yeah, I, I, I laughed, but I can't give a like a 0 to 10 rating on it. Uh, I, I just can't. It's defining classification in my book. Uh, it's definitely not the worst film I've seen all year. Uh, it's, but it, it's not not something I'd recommend for everybody. So I can't give it a, like a ten out of ten. It, it's very conditional whether you're going to like this film or not. That's what that's all I can say right now before I get into spoilers, which start here. If you do want to go see it, stop watching now. Go, I think I've described what to expect. Last chance, okay. Spoilers. Fallen angels are giant stone demons that protect the Ark as it's being attacked by other people who are trying to desperately get on the Ark once they realize that, hey, wait, this guy's right, and we actually... You know, the creator, they never refer to him as God, it's always the creator, is actually, actually is going to swamp everybody. <laughs> oh, and, uh, oh, Anthony Hopkins, he plays Noah's grandfather, Methuselah. And he's got this thing with berries. He's always looking. Did you bring the berries? I, I could really go for a berry right now. He is just so over the top, and yet playing a complete. I, I, he might be the only one who's smirking at the camera during this entire thing. Everybody else is. It, everybody else says their lines fine, but and I guess they're acting okay. But the lines they're given, the dialogue is just so. Wow. You actually managed to say that with a straight face. I'm impressed. That takes talent. <laughs> so, so I really can't fault any of the actors here because I, 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 that's got to be what the director intended. Uh, 
Oh, Darren Aronofsky. Bravo, bravo. Um. Okay, so what was added from the? Well, obviously, the fact that they're fallen angels, and they're actually described this way: fallen angels. They decided that hey, wait, he's created these humans, and we we want to help him, so they they go down of their own volition. Okay, that's kind of. And then God punishes them by covering them with stones so that they have to walk around. And then, uh, so Cain and Abel gets told, Cain, Abel, and Seth were Noah's, were Adam and Eve's three sons. Uh, I can never remember which one killed, uh, Cain killed Abel. So Cain's descendants go on to create this huge industrial society that ends up ruining most of the planet. And... Of course, Seth's family that branches down to Noah, who is the his family is the only remaining descendants of Seth, and of course God chooses them to build the ark, and that sequence is kind of weird. And this is where it starts to get a little over the top. Uh, like this, lens gets barren, 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 and then suddenly plants one seed, trees everywhere. Uh. So they build the ark. Uh, they have the thing with Methuselah, who's he's got this thing with berries, and he's a magical old guy. Uh, they recruit through. They recruit one of the fallen angels who decides he's going to help them, and the force springs up just as the other fallen angels have come to. Drag the other guy away for being a heretic, then you realize, hey, wait, this forest is probably, you know, we, we are actually going to stay here and guard the Ark. <laughs> That's just, just, wow. Um, and then Ham's played as this, not, doesn't really match the Bible account at all, where Ham's kind of only mentioned at the end, I'll get to that. Uh, so Ham is kind of like the, Black sheep, not really fitting in with the rest of the family. Uh, then they find Emma Watson's character. Oh, Emma Watson is hot. I know that's completely off topic, but anyway, she ends up being, I want to say Shem's? No, is it? Sh no. Anyway, Noah's oldest son's wife they end up getting married she's barren when they find her because she has a really big injury but magical old guy anthony hopkins heals her while looking for a berry <laughs> uh, so she ends up getting giving birth to twins later on which fixes the problem nicely of hey wait we didn't bring two women on the ark for the other two sons Although then they're kind of the uncles to that, that kind of icky. Um, except that Ham actually went to the encampment of the king who's trying to take over the Ark to find himself a wife. He finds this very nice girl and they have a bit of a conversation. And he starts to take her back to the Ark, but she gets her foot caught in a trap. And then Noah's a right bastard and just drags him away from her while she gets trampled to death by the oncoming mob as it starts to rain. Ah, no. <laughs> Is Noah supposed to be the good guy here? Really? Because <laughs> he's a bit of a bit, of course, he's, in his mind, like, I'm carrying through with the greatest plan. He actually wants to wipe out humanity. We're not going to reproduce. None of us here are going to reproduce anymore. Because she's barren and. Because she's barren and I'm not going to do anything with my wife, so all I've got is sons and this barren girl, and we're all going to die off eventually, just like the creator wants. <laughs> wow! Wow, you went there! Uh, the, how they. All the animals come to the ark, uh, they put them to sleep, that's how they explain how they're actually able to be on the ark without eating any food. They're all asleep. Uh, okay, whatever. Don't think that actually works like that, but okay. Um, yeah, Noah's just a prick in this film. He really is. Once they get on the ark, he's a right prick. 
Oh, uh, even before they get on the ark, as I said. Um, it, e. So then, of course, they're floating on the way. Uh, Noah's oldest and Emma Watson's character want to get on this raft that they built to get away from the ark so that Noah can't kill the babies that she's having. She says if they're, if they're a boy, they're going, to, they're going to live because then they'll just end up being the last men. But, you know, if they're, if they're girls, I've got to kill them right away because, you know, we can't have them reproducing with their uncles, I guess. You. Um, so they, they build a raft and then right as they're getting ready to get on it, Noah burns the sucker. <laughs> I just heard the theater. This is hilarious. I don't think anybody else is finding this as funny as I was, but, oh, man. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so the king actually manages to sneak onto the ark and makes friends with him who keeps him alive. He actually kills a few of the animals who are on the ark. I mean, wow, okay, just wiped out some species or whatever. Okay, wow. Yeah, you don't care. You're, you're, nobody on this, nobody on this boat I care about except Emma Watson and her kids. Uh, <laughs> uh, so crashes into the mountain, uh, they end up, Noah gets into a fight with the king when he discovers him on board, and he, king ends up gets get, getting killed by, sh by ham, uh, the, Noah's eldest tries to keep him from going up to killing the killing the babies, but he gets up there and Emma Watson is just crawling her eyes and I'm just, you know, this is so ridiculous. Uh, but they're playing it completely straight. It's amazing. I don't know how they managed to keep such straight faces through this. And then he goes up, he's about to, draw, they draw this out, just as she sings a song like, I want them to die. I want them to die. Why? Let me sing them a song. So he's, she sings them a, she sings the babies a lullaby that uh, Noah sang to her right at the beginning when they found her. Puts them, puts them to sleep, and then rather than kill, they drag out this. She's begging them, please just make it quick, and they're just begging, like just milking this for all it's worth. And he just leans down and kisses them both. <laughs> uh, so they're crashed on the mountain, and then they go off and start, yeah, going on with their life. Noah goes off, becomes a hermit for a little while, making wine, as it says in the Bible. And then it, Ham and his Ham walks up, sees his father naked. Uh, Ham's been off doing his own kind of thing, wandering around a little bit. Uh, sees his father naked. The other two, he doesn't go get them. The other two just come up, and you know, the oldest says, "Cover your eyes," and then they cover him up. And then there's this thing with the snake skin, which I guess is the snake from the garden. Uh, it was stolen off of Noah's father by the king when Noah was just a boy. Uh, Ham gets the skin back off of the the king, uh, kind of tosses it back to his father after this incident where he saw him, na saw him naked and then walks off. Uh, okay, I guess he's not good. He doesn't have the babies with him, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, and then there's some kind of ceremony, you get the rainbow and... And that's the film. Uh, <laughs> obviously, a lot more to it than I just said. It's cinematography is actually pretty good. I mean, there are some very nice effects. Uh, there's a story when they go through the Genesis account. They, I, I thought the sequence was very well done. They start with the Big Bang, go through the galaxies forming, the formation of the Earth, and then evolution. That's one of the reasons why I th th this had to have been a great big, like, one of these to creationists, because I can definitely see why creationists didn't like this. Now, I've heard some people say, well, they, they were upset that they portrayed Noah as a drunk. Well, how they portrayed him as a drunk is what's in here. It is the story of Ham. Ham Noah gets drunk, he passes out, Ham walks in on him naked. Exactly as it's in here. So I don't want to hear any complaints about that, okay? What's different is that he doesn't banish Ham, Ham just walks off. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, again, as I said, I'm not sure who really is going to like this or not, but there's a synopsis. That, and I, for one, <laughs> everybody else, I, 
think was flight take I think it was a little heavy on the environmental message, but th that just played up part of it why I found it so funny. It's like they are taking this so damn seriously, but they don't realize that what they're saying is completely ridiculous. They must on some level. I think the director at least knew. But, uh, yeah, so, well, there are my thoughts. Uh, yeah, if you think that sounds interesting, go give it a shot. Tell me what you think down below. I'll talk to you later. I'm Firefly404, Andrew. Hopefully, I'll be doing these a little more regularly now that curling season's wrapping up and my play is going to be coming up so shortly. So, anyway, that's enough for now. Talk to you later, folks.